Currently, there is a vast amount of RTF data available. According to LOD Cloud Estate, more than 31 billion triple uh, publicly have been published. Therefore, we need more intelligent approaches to retrieve information from such a huge interlinked RTF knowledge base. Here we introduce SINA, a semantic search engine, which retrieves information close to question answering systems. SINA has a Google-like interface. Here you can see there is a text box which user can type his own query in a complete natural language query or in a keyboard-based query. SINA can be run on both a single dataset or on several interlinked datasets. The version run in on interlinked datasets as the URI SINA-linkdata.akswu.org and the version running on one single dataset actually on DBpedia has the URI SINA.akswu.org uh, about the underlying datasets of this version of SINA, it's actually running on three interlinked datasets from life science. We have drug bank, cider, disease. M. Drug bank contains information about the drugs, their protein, enzyme, and interaction of drugs. Disease M contains information about the diseases and their associated genes. And finally, CIDER is a dataset about the side effects of drug. Drug bank and CIDER and also disease M and CIDER interlink with each other using all same as link. While drug bank and disease M connected to each other using the properties possible drug and possible disease target. That's all about the data set. Let's return to the interface. As I said, a uh, user can type a complete natural language query or, in a, key or a keyboard based query. Here I pick up the first example, which is uh, what are the side effects of valicoxib. I type that here. After clicking on the search button, you will be shown a result pattern in the below. Here there is a blue bar representing the um, triple patterns of the generated Sparkle query. And there is a table below which shows uh, the subsample of retrieved resources from running the Sparkle query. Actually, only 10 um, sample of resources. And in the left corner, there is a link here written, show the query in, the, in a Sparkle query, a Sparkle endpoint. If you click here, you are directed to the Virtuoso Sparkle endpoint of the knowledge base. So the um, spa generated Sparkle query is shown here. You can run this query from, end, from the endpoint, so obviously you will receive more number of resources. And then you can edit the query. For instance, I'm only interested in retrieving the uh, side effects. So I change that as this thing. So I will get only the side effects. Okay, so the question is that how Sina does that? SINA has two main modules. In the first module, the, in, the input main keywords of the query should be mapped against the resources in the knowledge base. And in the second query, in the second module, these mapped resources should be uh, form a, uh, a, sparkle in, a sparkle query. In the first module, uh, Sina first get re gets re uh, rid of the stop force. For instance, here we have what are the of. So Sina removes all and then uh, maps the remaining keywords 
against the resources in the knowledge base. So we have side effect and valid proxy. Side effect has been mapped to side effect a property in CIDR and Valdicoxib mapped to the uh, mm, resource in drug bank. In the second module, which a uh, Sparkle query should be generated, Sina uses a kind of forward chaining for uh, finding the minimum spanning graph. Minimum spanning means that a graph which tries to connect all the map resources um, with each other uh, with the uh, lowest number of uh, connections. If the map resources are from different data sets, Sina traverses the links between uh, data sets to connect these resources. For instance, here side effect is from CIDR and uh, Valdicoxib is from drug bank. So Sina, by this triple pattern, Sina finds the same as link of Valdicoxib in CIDR and then place this variable as the subject of side effect by forward chaining. So these two triple patterns together satisfy the information need of the user actually. Uh, for further information about the, this uh, search engine, I refer you to our paper entitled Question Answering on Interlinked Data, which is published in www.2013. Thank you.